hello everyone in today's video I will show you how to extract clinical trials data related to coronavirus from clinicaltrials.gov so basically to analyze clinical trials and to see the drugs that are in pipeline and their status and the companies that are sponsoring those uh, trials we can log on to this website clinicaltrials.gov and extract data and analyze that data in Microsoft Excel so today I will show you how to do all those type of analysis let's open our Google Chrome and go to the website that is clinicaltrials.gov and hit enter so this is the home page of US National Library of Medicine clinicaltrials.gov so here you will get the search option so what you do is click on advanced search go to advanced search and give coronavirus so all the trials related to coronavirus everything covid19 infection everything will be downloaded no need to select anything study type all so study results all we need everything so don't select anything just search so you see 222 studies found for coronavirus now we need to download this data but first of all it is showing only 10 studies out of the 222 studies the next studies are in the next page but we need all so click here and give 100 so 100 studies per page so we need to download this data click on download so it will show number of studies to download 222 studies found I want to download all these studies and I want to display all the columns and the format should be comma separated values or tab separated values it doesn't matter just click on anyone both all these will be downloaded in excel file format so click on download what will happen your trial should be downloaded as you can see here search results.csv that is comma separated values click on this file this is your data now this data is really not clear to me but I have to understand this data so I'll copy it in my excel sheet that I have prepared so in this sheet I have copied the data and let me do a bit of formatting of this data wrap text row height to be adjusted to 15 enter and data that I will use is this NCT number, title, study, study results, study status, ok status I will use this one, status, conditions and sponsor is very important, gender, phase yes this is one important data, funded by this is also important study design is very important study type is also important so we'll use these parameters first of all to understand the basic thing these dates are to be used for the secondary purpose in the second uh, analysis we'll show how to use the dates but first let, let us understand what insight we can draw from this data now just copy the status go to another sheet and remove duplicates okay so what will happen is the status let's put a simple function of count if the range this comma and this so this number of clinical trials as you can see here 22 this number of clinical trials are in particular status well now we need the conditions what conditions are being analyzed in these clinical trials just 
remove the duplicates and you will see lots of conditions that are being analyzed pneumonia caused by human uh, coronavirus so there are 140 conditions and it's being studied in 222 trials so same same wise we will study uh, the number of conditions also to 22 it should come to 22 so here we need to deep down what's happening we need to see sponsor type go to sponsor type so sorry remove the duplicates we'll leave conditions for now because conditions we need to filter the data and see and understand uh, what actually is happening because this is a very short analysis that I'm going to do so maybe uh, we need to uh, clear uh, the raw data we need to clean uh, raw data because data has special characters so unless and until we do the data cleaning properly we cannot analyze the data properly but I'm just for knowledge purpose I'm showing you what we can do with the information available so as you can see here this is not coming because there may be a data cleaning issue which is uh, which why this has happened so due to this data cleaning issue sometimes the error occurs but when we clear the data cleaning issue we clean the data properly this won't appear okay moving quickly to the phases as you can see here not applicable so there are some blanks as well so we'll put them as not available right we'll put them as not available so that we don't have any gap in our data now we'll remove the duplicates from phases as well and what we can do is we'll put a count a function to see well we have 222 here okay so this doesn't need a lot of data cleaning next we go to the funded bias okay so we'll take this to funded bias and study types so funded bias funded bias we'll do the remove duplicate part These are basic things which we need to take care of while analyzing the data of clinical trials. So now as you can see here in my screen that we have few things which are very important that is status and count of that particular status so funded by the study types. So now we need to uh, actually by seeing this sheet we don't get any idea that uh, what is actually going on but when we have some numbers in our hand we can easily analyze those data and represent in form of charts and uh, graphs to understand that yes these are the number of uh, data, uh, trials that are going on so in recruiting phase about 94 trials are there which have re recruited and two trials are there which has not yet repro uh, rec uh, reported their status and then uh, the number of drugs in different phases also can be easily understood okay so we can understand that uh, about 77 drugs are there in the clinical trials but their phases are not yet available and well 10 drugs are in phase 4 so maybe a good promising results can happen very soon we can analyze this type of data like that so and we can also see the number of 100 buys it's very important because sponsorships for understanding the clinical trials is very important as government spends a huge amount of money and as well as the private companies they are much more concerned about their share market also 
so this plays an important factor to understand this other means the private companies the other an industry so nih government funded so as you can see here us funded so these are something and how many uh, studies are actually observational and interventional we can understand that so for every uh, data we have an insight so this was some something that i could show you it's a very easy thing which you can also do to analyze the data of any clinical trial registry and understand how things actually work but if you clean this data in a more uh, clear format and do the data cleaning for all these things then you will get much more amount of information and insights so by understanding the uh, title of the trial by understanding the date the primary date and the end date the completion date to understand how much time this uh, trial has taken to complete phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 phase 4 then understanding different conditions the trial is in and how you can relate and to understand the different type of interventions this is also very important so if you take into account the interventions but as you can see here we need to do a lot of data cleaning because uh, some are drugs some are biologic but we need to differentiate this data so if you can see what i need to do is go to text to column next output this and you can see everything is different so biologic drug okay i'll remove this These are the different interventions. Where, but also here is one important factor as you can see here there are gaps so we need to clean the data properly. So cleaning this data will help us to understand yes so these are number of trials and this can happen. So these are something which gives us an idea that the trials that are going on has this much amount of drugs has this much amount of biologics this much amount of combination products so this gives you a clear picture to analyze the clinical trials from the clinical trial registry so i hope you like this video and you can yourself download data from clinical trial registry to understand what all is going around in pharma and healthcare sector and understand the spread of this disease and the ongoing advances that is happening in COVID-19. Hope you all stay safe. If you like this video, do give a thumbs up to this video by clicking the like button below and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more interesting updates on Excel and coronavirus and many more activities. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.